see if it keeps an entry for food. So while I do this, I wanted to talk a bit on my education background because a lot of you have been asking about that in my DMs on Instagram. So I thought I'd make such a video along with that. Uh, starting with the very first schooling. So I did it for multiple schools, but my recent most latest schooling, which was uh, 12th, 11th, 12th, that was done in uh, Dehradun. I was in Indoor International School, if you are from Dehradun, you know. So I took commerce with maths because apparently I was very much interested in maths. And I was like, okay, let's take it. And I was really good at it. I will not deny it. I was good at maths. I used to enjoy it a lot. And that's why I got numbers. But then what happened? Then came the time of decision of you know what to choose after 12th and my parents had this viewpoint since I was you know I had no viewpoint at all so I had to listen to someone so my parents suggested that since you are so interested in mathematics and you've got so good grades in that I got 95 on 100 so I cannot deny that okay I am good at it I can do it although I didn't want to but then I said yes and I got admission in Delhi University, which people die for. And I'm like, oh, I'm getting an admission in DU and it's maths honors, must be something. Now, uh, how my life was there is a talk of another day. Then somehow I finished my maths honors. I barely passed in first few months. I literally used to get like you know 37 38 out of 100 so in my first year i was bad but then i um, started to know how to pass i get to know how to pass it's not like i got better i just knew how to pass and one day before i used to get this girls his name was himanshi i used to get her she was the topper of the class so i used to get her notes and got them all uh, photocopied and I somehow knew how to pass, like I knew. So by the end of three years, I got good 70-ish percentage and I was given the degree, which was more than useless. But man, it was due, huh? I did it that. Then it said, of course there are no opportunities. There were no opportunities. If you're not interested in something, even if there is an opportunity, you cannot see it, right? So of course there was nothing after my graduation and then I'm like what else to do? The other problem with me was staying, my parents got transferred from Dehradun to Delhi and I couldn't stay in the city because of pollution, people or whatever. So I decided to take the leap of faith and go somewhere else and I decided to go to Pune where I have literally no one, like zero contacts. But I still did for a course in graphic designing because I was remotely, very minutely interested in designing. And my 
father was kind enough to do that for me. Although I had to write a mail to him to convince him that, you know, if I live in Delhi, nothing's going to work out. Please let me go. I had written a mail and to my own father and to my surprise, he did understand my situation. Then I did a six months course in graphic designing, got the certification. It was fine. It wasn't bad. I, and I did get a job afterwards as well as a graphic designer, which I worked in for a year. So then once the year was done, out of nowhere, someone somewhere be, uh, in my life was earning well because they had done uh, this, what we say, MBA. And I thought, no, why not do MBA? And I'm like, <laughs> that was the biggest, most stupidest thing I could do in my life. But I did it anyway. And I got uh, the admission in this. This Narsimunji Bangalore. And what happened there is the story of yet another day. So we'll see about that. When and how I introduce you to that part of my life. Because believe me, the stories are not nice. Uh, so what I'm trying to say is, medication in short is, medication in short is maths honors in graduation, then a diploma course in graphic designing, then masters in business administration and marketing from Narsimunji, and then I did not get a placement from there as well. Because of course, oh that's a whole list of things where I didn't get that. But anyways, I'll get passed through that and I got a job from my own end from outside in Amazon where my twin sister has been working, you know, since six years now. So then it was like four years and she has been working there since long enough. So I was like, maybe she refers me and maybe I get a job that I am supposed to get after doing an uh, MBA. But turns out, MBA degree means nothing and I will have to start at the associate level. Now since I had nothing else in hand, my father already took a loan for me and I definitely didn't want to be jobless, so I took up the job. I think that's it for today. <laughs> and the irony is today, I made, started my cutting my deck from work and opportunities deck. Oops. So I think this was the vlog today. I'll discuss more in the next ones. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> Many things to do that. I printed it on my own printer. So I have like these mini sheets. I have to do the same thing with and get the same result. And by the way, I Let's do these and I shall vlog later. Thank you for this little chit chat vlog. I'll see you next time.